I'm Mary McNeil, and this is my presentation on cosmic background radiation. Cosmic background radiation is believed to have been radiation that was left over from the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang. It is believed to be the energy or heat left over from the Big Bang that created our universe. The universe in the beginning is believed to have been expanding and contracting very rapidly. That radiation left over from the Big Bang caused cosmic background radiation. Ralph Alpher, in 1948, was the first person to predict cosmic background radiation when he was researching a concept known as Big Bang Nucleosynthesis. The first time it was actually observed wasn't until 1965 when Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson accidentally discovered it in their lab in New Jersey. The cosmic background radiation was actually creating excess noise in a radio receiver they had in their laboratory. Nearby at Princeton University, Robert Dick and Dave Wilkinson were researchers trying to find cosmic background radiation. When they heard about Penzias and Wilson's discovery of the noise, they believed it to be cosmic background radiation finally being discovered. Various papers were written on the subject and the discovery. Penzias and Wilson ended up getting the 1978 Nobel Prize for the official discovery of the concept that was once only a theory, cosmic background radiation. Cosmic background radiation is believed to be very cold. It is measured to be 2.725 degrees above absolute zero, one of the coldest things in the universe. This also makes it mostly only shine in the microwave portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, also making it visible to the naked eye. However, it is believed that cosmic background radiation is all over the universe and can be detected anywhere we try to observe it. Apparently, if humans were able to see microwaves, the entire sky would glow with a consistent light all over the atmosphere. The temperature across the background radiation throughout the universe is also uniform and consistent. The entire thing is basically the same temperature. This is a reason that makes scientists believe that the radiation is almost definitely remnant heat from the Big Bang event, because apparently it would be very difficult for a local source or sources of radiation to be that uniform in its characteristics and temperature. Scientists have even tried to explain or bring up different and alternative explanations for why the radiation behaves this way, including that it came from a source different from the Big Bang, but none of those propositions have succeeded in explaining the phenomenon. Scientists have suggested that the universe may be filled with a black body radiation which originated at a time when the matter and radiation were in a hot, highly compacted state, the primordial fireball. As the universe expanded, cosmic black body radiation would have cooled to the extent that it now only shows up in the microwave spectrum. Penzias and Wilson reported results that agreed with this suggestion, and they did eventually discover the excess background radiation at the 7.35 centimeter wavelength. This background radiation discovery provides a severe test of the cosmic black body radiation hypothesis. More recently, 3.2 centimeter wavelength background radiation has been discovered. Cosmic background radiation at 3.2 centimeters in wavelength supports the cosmic black body radiation hypothesis. Penzias and Wilson discovered background radiation with a wavelength of 7.35 centimeters. More recently, with the new wavelength of 3.2 centimeters being discovered, it lends support to the cosmic black body radiation hypothesis and theories and could at least indicate a new source of cosmic waves.